So, before you take your first step on your programming adventure, let's be very clear about our objectives and what you can expect to learn in this series. The field that I'm about to show you is specifically gameplay development. Programming is a very broad term. If someone tells you they're a programmer, that's like someone telling you they're a 3D modeler. The same way there are different types of modelers for environments, weapons, human bodies, human faces, clothing, monsters, or vehicles, programming has many different types of fields as well. The front end programmer for a website has a complete different life than the back-end programmer. A software or an app developer for Apple is a completely different beast from the guys in Amazon who spend their whole life developing the fastest database queries possible. And even within game development, programmers usually specialize in different fields. The people who maintain the scoreboard servers all day are generally not the same people who program the trees to blow in the wind for your environment. Likewise, the programmers who design the GUI or menu controls usually aren't the same guys developing the boss fight. And this kind of highlights the point that I'm trying to make. The main difference between a solo indie dev and a AAA programmer is the lack of specialization. Remember, if you are making your own game, your biggest challenge is gonna be time management. The time that you spend modeling or animating is time you're not spending programming the engine. The time you spend programming the engine is time you're not spending writing the story. And the time you spend writing the story is time you're not spending debugging all the glitches that your testers are piling up on you every day. So you have to remember that as a solo dev, dev or small team, your number one objective is to simply finish the damn project. You need to understand ahead of time that you as an indie dev will never have the best code because you simply don't have the luxury to spend all day specializing in it. There's always going to be a better way to program things. And there's not a single programmer on the planet who doesn't look back at their code six months later and wonder how the flying f did I ever think this was acceptable code? So my recommendation is you just focus on getting something playable as fast as possible. You can always go to the Unity scripting forum where you will find no shortage of amazingly generous programmers who will happily help you optimize your code. And you will also naturally and automatically improve your code over time. So fundamental gameplay code is what we are gonna focus on here. So go ahead and download Unity and in the next video I'll get you two acquainted. As always, hope you have a fantastic day. Now see you. Yeah.